Now, oh, another land dispute story. The dispute over the management and sharing of veteran politician John Keane's multi-billion shilling vast empire has intensified seven years after he died. This is after a section of the family moved to subdivide a parcel of land in Karen by erecting a wall. The family of the late politician has been embroiled in a long legal tussle over the estate, estimated to be worth about 13 billion shillings. This despite a detailed will that John Keane wrote before he died back in 2015. The family of his first family filed a case in court in the battle over the property. This story was produced by our very own Ben Kirui. <laughs> The late John Keane's children and grandchildren are at loggerheads over the sharing of the vast estate left by the veteran politician. <laughs> Wednesday morning, that dispute took a different turn after the family of the second and the third wife of the late Keane moved to erect a wall, subdividing the five-acre piece of land in Karen, it is a move that the family of the first wife, Gladwell Wairimo, faulted as a conspiracy to kick them out. These people were sent by someone, goons, to destroy our property. Yeah, because of the court case which, which we had filed. Yeah, and uh, they've been sent by brothers and sisters, our stepbrothers and sisters. But in the blame game, the family of the second and third wife disputed these claims. Emotions can get carried away and then they said okay then if they don't want to be with us then they, everybody should stay in their plot and live in there in their plot. Why share what you don't want? We're seeking some kind of uh, as at least share of the, of the property, some part of the property, yeah, but they want all the property. The family of the first wife Gladwell Wairimo have been accusing their stepmother Rosemary Sanao and their stepsister, Pamela Soila, in what they claim is a scheme to kick them out and take over the entire estate, which is estimated to be worth more than 13 billion Kenya shillings. Yeah, they've destroyed the fence, they've cut the electricity, they've taken out even the pole, and even they've cut the water. They might want to destroy the house come morning. The, the issue of the works going there, it's a perimeter wall that has been built, because that the property that the, the, we are currently on is be belonging to the whole family as a whole. But the property that is being uh, erected a wall is a result of, of course, a, a result of the action they have taken against the other family members. In the intrigues of the dispute, the children of the first wife, Gladwell Wairimo, filed a case in court against Pamela Soila Keane and Rosemary Keane, seeking ownership of the John Keane property that they claim was solely acquired by John Keane and their mother before she died in 2020. Rosemary Sanao and Pamela Soila are the executors of the will left behind by John Keane before he died. They feel threatened by the court case and uh, this is why they're doing this. Some matters are in court, others are not, others we solve ourselves. So we hope that most matters will be solved at home, but sometimes some people they jumped the gun and go to the court and others go to the press. Well, for my part, uh, I just want to say I want this to, uh, we have a family, uh, not only the family committee, but also uh, some elders who will come in, come in and to try and negotiate and facilitate um, uh, our getting together. Keen died in December 2016 and left behind a written will dated 2nd December 2015. He appointed Supreme Court Judge Isaac Lenaola, lawyer Maina Washira, and his children Rosemary Sanao and Pamela Soila as the executors of the will. Justice Lenaola resigned as an executor, while lawyer Maina Washira has since